You should test the load times of your websites pretty often, especially if you are regularly adding content, plugins, scripts, or testing new themes. Another major reason for having a quick loading site, besides keeping your visitors on your site, is getting visitors to your site in the first place by way of free search engine traffic. For example, Google considers your site's load speed whenever it decides where in the search results to put your site. Many tools you can use to run these load speed tests are free. One such tool is called YSlow. YSlow is from the development department of Yahoo. And in this video, I'm going to give you a tour of YSlow and cover some of the major components that will help you get the most out of your site speed testing with this free tool and what to avoid whenever using YSlow. Now, YSlow has developed 23 different testable rules related to the optimum load speed of a web page. And whenever you run the test on your web page, which we're going to do here in just a second, it compares what you have to the optimum way things should be and gives you a score based on the results of that test. Now, before we run that test, I do want to point out that each one of these is a clickable link that will take you to a page that will explain more about each one of these testable rules. And I want to show you some things to consider when installing YSlow on your particular browser. As you can see here, it is available for many of the major browsers, but there's a biggie missing, and that is Internet Explorer. It does not work with Internet Explorer. And do not use these links to install YSlow on your particular browser because they may not work. For example, with Firefox, it tells you that you need to first install Firebug and then install YSlow as an add-on to Firebug. Now, Firebug is a great plugin. It works perfectly for developers, but YSlow does not work. And if we click on the Firebug link up here, it opens up and one of the tabs to Firebug is YSlow. And I can just click on any one of these links in here. And by the way, I'm clicking and click on the run test button. Nothing is working. This, I think, is a result of some of the updates to Firefox that YSlow has not kept up with. So how you install YSlow on Firefox or for that matter on any of those browsers. Let's go ahead and close out of this. Come on back here is do not click on these links for installation. Instead, click on the link up here in the top right corner because YSlow recognizes magically what browser you're in. For example, right now I'm in the Firefox browser and I'm in the Chrome browser here and it recognizes that I'm in the Chrome browser. And if we click on this button up here in the top right corner, install YSlow, it gives me this pop out. Now I've already got YSlow installed. That's why this button here is not clickable. But if we come on back to my Firefox browser, click on this, it brings us to the page on mobile installation instructions. You got option one and option two, but the one that we want is the one at the bottom here to add this to our bookmarks toolbar. And you do that by just left click, hold and drag that blue button up to your bookmarks bar, which by the way, you need to have your bookmarks bar showing and you come on up here to view toolbars and make sure your bookmarks toolbar is checked. Otherwise you won't see it up there. And now why slow is working. Now it's a little more limited in Firefox than it is in Chrome. And I'll demonstrate that right now. Let's go ahead and run a quick test here. Click on the bookmarklet. This pops up, click on run tests. And by the way, you can see you got these different tabs here. And as soon as you click on one of these tabs, it's going to start running the test. That's why I haven't clicked on those yet to show those to you. But you have here various rule sets by default. You've got three rule sets and the V2 tests for all 23 of those rule sets we talked about a second ago. The classic V1 only tests for, I believe, 13 of those 23 and the small site or blog tests for 15 of those 23. So if you do not want to know about all 23 possible pluses or minuses to the speed of your site, then choose V1 or this one, or you can click on edit and create your own custom set. Now, this is one of the other items that does not work as good as the Chrome browser does with YSlow because you can click on new set, create whatever test items you want to have on your new set, click on save rule set as, give it a name, click on save, click on save, click on new set, and we're good to go. But as soon as we get out of this, by the way, you can see it showing up right here. You can go ahead and run the test right now, but as soon as we click on close and then go to open it up again, it's gone. It doesn't actually save it. 
That's another problem or a bug with the Firefox version of YSlow versus the Chrome version of YSlow. Let's come on back here and do this test. And again, this is Firefox. And for the V2, for all 23 rule sets, I've got an overall performance score of 77. And it tells me what I excel at, what I fail at, and those in between. And if you click on these, it will give you an explanation over here to the right of what needs to be fixed and how to go about fixing it. Now, if we do the same thing, go ahead and close this out. Oh, and by the way, you've got a help section over here that if you click on that, you got your Why Slow Help, FAQs, the blog, and a forum, and some issues that you might want to be aware of. Or maybe you want to report an issue that you just found out about on this particular instance of Why Slow. But let's do the same thing over on Chrome. And I've already got it installed on Chrome, so let's come to the website, the exact same website. Click on Why Slow, get this little blowout here instead of the iframe setup like with Firefox. But at least this one works completely. Now then you get the same tabs up here. Click on Run Test. And again, I'm in V2 for this test as well. And the other one was 77 on Firefox. Here I get a 78. So there's a little bit of a difference here. And just like with Firefox, you can click on these links here. And it'll give you a rundown here of what is wrong, what can be done to improve that score, and so on. Now the Chrome version does allow you to save these rule sets and display it for future reference. So if we click on Edit, come over to New Set, and make your own new set. And you might decide to do a custom set if you have a website that is heavy in CSS or heavy in images or some other item that you want to test for and you're not overly concerned with some of these other rule sets. So you make your custom set. Choose the items you want to test for on that particular site. Click on Save Rule Set As. I would give it that site name. Click on Save. Click on Save. Click on New Set and we're solid. Now then if you come on up here and click on the drop down, you can see that it's right there. Go ahead and run a test. And based on the items that I checked, this is the overall score. Now then if we close this out and then open this up again, get this big old blowout here. Now then you can see that that rule set is still intact. It's still part of our default settings. Whereas the same thing on Firefox, it automatically wipes out that custom set that you created as soon as you close it out. Well, that's going to bring us to the end of this video on the YSlow site speed testing tool. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.